person in the keynote speeches and also in the conversation all week from the little I've gleaned since I got here yesterday have been emphasizing all of the myriad ways in which uh, it's possible to actually uh, use one's humanity and one's agency uh, aligned with the Dharma in ways that actually uh, can manifest as transformation and healing uh, without necessarily burning out. In fact, burning out is a kind of diagnostic that there's too strong an attachment to something or other that's driving, forcing change. And presumably this group would understand that there's something unwise about trying to force so that you don't like to be different, but to use an entirely different strategy, which when uh, I was, I, I don't know exactly how to approach this whole thing with, with you. Usually I, I give talks to scientific and medical audiences. I don't spend that much time talking to uh, Buddhist sanghas. And so it's an enormous privilege for me to be here. And I feel like a kind of, a, you know, sort of black sheep cousin on the outer uh, sort of <laughs> orbits of this universe. But, uh, but actually my deepest uh, affections and connections run here, except for the fact, and I hope I'm, you know, some of you find this provocative at least, is that I'm not actually that interested in, in, in in uh, Buddhism or being Buddhist, I'm interested in being human. And anything that creates duality or dualisms between us and them, including Buddhism, is a problem for me. Uh, and I felt very strongly, although there were times in my life that I, I identified and wanted to and got a lot out of, you know, feeling like, yes, I belong to this group. That ultimately I began to think that I needed, I needed to not belong to that group in a sort of narrow way in my own mind, in part because it would not be skillful when I tried to bring the essence of what our understanding of Dharma is. And it's always, of course, uh, modulated by our own development and our own capacities and our own um, karma. Uh, to, to not have any kind of baggage that secretly I'm trying to like make people into Buddhists. So I abandoned any identification with Buddhism. Uh, but I feel a little bit of solace on that score because, uh, you know, the Buddha wasn't a Buddhist. And, uh, and, uh, and in fact, the word Buddhism, as I understand it, I think I learned this first from Stephen Batchelor in his book, uh, Awakening of the West, which is fantastic history of the relationship, that Buddhism is actually a term that uh, Western, Western religious and uh, sort of philosophical types who wound up in Japan and, and uh, China uh, coined to explain to themselves who these people were because they had big statues of Buddhas and it seemed like, oh, they have, we have Christ, they have Buddha, okay, we, I get it, we get it. But they didn't get it. 